Good morning guys, welcome to today's video. It's dark and dreary and yucky outside. It is almost spring and I guess that is what spring means. We are getting ready to go outside, but I wanted to give you a little update on our enclosure for my new Yorkie puppy uh, really quick. So basically I have this little thing that I bought long ago and I thought it would be a great enclosure for her. I love that I can keep this door open. Her food and her water is around the corner. She can go in there whenever she wants to. She has her potty pan in there and then she has a bed. She's got some toys. I can set it all up and none of our big dogs can go in there. Gia loves this little setup. She loves it. it makes her feel safe. It makes her it gives her some like she it's solid it's here it's all the time here she knows this is where she belongs and where she can go uh the only thing that it doesn't do is keep her in she just climbs over the edge so we toyed with making it taller with these things and we might do that if we have enough but i really think i want to get a different kind of a pen i love this idea for her she loves this thing she absolutely loves going in there she'll take like one of the dogs big dogs toys and she'll drag it in there and feel completely safe she likes to chew things in there the one thing she doesn't like that's in there is that dog bed it's a cat bed actually our chihuahuas loved going into little places like that it kept them warm and cozy she hates it we have a little dog bed out here and she often climbs in there and sleeps sometimes when we're up in my mom's room she she wakes up she stands up and then she flops back down and goes back to yeah, bed she flops down oh she's a, she's in there she went in <laughs> So clearly she doesn't, clearly she prefers this kind of a bed. She often goes in there all on her own, but her favorite place to lay is with us, with any of us, with me mostly. So the reason I'm asking, or the reason I'm giving you this little update is because I'm curious what kind of little setups do you guys have for your small dogs? I have a crate and I'm going to use it today, but I don't want to put her in a crate if I don't have to. Whoops. <laughs> I know she really likes this and can get out and do all the things that she wants to do. So Daisy's asking her to play. Ellie loves playing with Daisy. She adores her, but sometimes Daisy, just because she's bigger, doesn't understand like that. <laughs> what are you doing? She doesn't understand that Ellie is little and she's not as gentle as she should be. Like sometimes when she's like, see how Ellie is swatting Daisy? Well, sometimes Daisy swats Ellie. And let me tell you, Ellie doesn't like that because Daisy's paws are a lot bigger. I don't know how she knows to bark to get her to play because she's deaf. See, she's... <laughs> so when Ellie gets nervous or scared, she gets really close to me to make sure that I can keep her safe. See how she stays between my legs when she plays? That's when she's like a little bit nervous. <laughs> Biggest adjustment that I found so far, I've like had a couple of big issues with going back to puppyhood. Like I, I didn't realize it would be as hard as it is. Like I thought it would just be like having Macy but having a puppy and or just having a younger Macy, but it's not like that at all. It's like having a baby so I sit uh, she wants me near her she wants me so when I had Sophie she was like the clingiest baby and she loved to be with me and she just wanted to snuggle me and be with me all the time or anybody that she could be with and that was Macy that was all of her chihuahuas they just lived for snuggling when I had Gabby she was so independent she wanted me to be there and be close and be there when she needed me but she did not want me picking her up she did not want me carrying her she did not want me like and Gabby learned to do everything so fast and so early because she did it herself she wouldn't let me help and so I'm used to the chihuahuas and they honestly wanted to be carried everywhere and ellie is a gabby she's not a sophie she's a gabby and it's difficult because i'm trying to get used to that again so i end up just being close i end up sitting on the floor <laughs> all the time so that she can be near me when she needs me come and get me when she's scared she likes to lay on my legs and look out at the world instead of snuggle up into my arms. But she's definitely fiercely independent, doesn't want to be carried, wants to do her own thing. And at first I was like struggling, like 
trying to see if she was bonding with me because the kind of bonding that she was doing was so different than what I was used to. See, this is what she likes to do. She likes to lay on me and be safe, but she doesn't want me to hold a... She doesn't want me to pick her up and, and protect her. She just wants me to be near. So this is what we do. We sit on the ground and she stays on my lap. Come here, Ellie. Come here, good girl. Okay, so she's learning to come slowly, but if we want her or we need her to come really quickly, we do this. <laughs> she comes to the squeaker. <laughs> Another thing is that I don't feed her around the clock. <laughs> She gets fed a few times a day at scheduled intervals, and she doesn't like that. So she's discovered very quickly where the dog food is, and she goes over there and tries to get in there all day long. Ruby is headed out for her appointment. I know there were some comments today about Ruby being all matted. Come here, Rubes. She's not mad and I brush her all the time. I brush her every single day. I love really brushing dogs. She's just a little bit overdue for her appointment and we tried to make an appointment and it took a while to get in. And that sometimes happens. She's dirty in terms of like she's a farm dog and she's not perfectly washed. But there are no mats on her at all. No knots, no mats. And she's like, oh my God. So I saw people saying that there were and I was so surprised to see that people were thinking that. But anyways, her scheduled appointment that's been scheduled for a couple of weeks now, we've been talking about it, um, is today. So she's going. The only other thing that I wanted to tell you guys about, so I'm learning to adapt to her personality. It's totally different thing than having a ch chihuahua. Hi guys, it's Tuesday and it's Ruby's appointment day at the groomers. And we're here and we're ready to get groomed and it's like a dark, look how dark and dreary it is. It's snowing for crying out loud. I thought well, spring was here, but now we're going to the groomer. And we'll see what she looks like after. Gosh, it is snowing out. It's snowing. Like what the heck, man? Thought we were done with snow. Oh my gosh, you guys, it's a snowstorm out. We're out feeding lunch now. And we're gonna have like a, a white spring. I have to go find the snow brush now and put it back in the truck. So he's gone to get food for the mares there. They'll be falling her out in the snow. What's the matter, Willow? <laughs> Willow's covered in snow. Willow's covered in snow. Honey's is covered in snow. Willow's covered in snow and Grace is covered in snow. And yeah. And honey's covered in snow. Yeah, she's not like that. <laughs> That's all right. She does, she's not even cold. They got the arena to come into if it's, it's actually a nice snowfall. My gosh, look how nice it is now. It's blinding, blinding light. It stops snowing and the cars are full of snow. <laughs> all right, we're here to pick up Ruby. So let's see how it goes. Let's see what she looks like today. Well, short haired black one is the one that is left for adoption. Oh yeah? Yeah. Is he a good outdoor cat? Unfortunately, no outdoors here. Oh. Humane society, though. Anyway, there's a cute little kitty. He's a black cat. He's a black cat, Gabby. That'd be bad luck. He's cute. Remember, your mom said I can get a cat, right? Be a house cat, though. Catch the big mice. It's going to be for a Do I get her? Just say yes. Just say yes. It's a house cat. You don't like house cats. Ruby's still on the chair. He even orders me. Meet Ruby. Ruby's all excited. Oh, you made my my seat all wet. All right. Oh, my seat's all wet. There's Ruby, girl. There's Ruby. She's so excited to see us. All right, Ruby, get in the back. Get back there. Get back there. Get back there. Oh, you're all fresh and ready for the farm. Now the snow came back, we gotta find your coat. Your Ruby's family. really excited. Wow. Really excited. Wow. Now I have to watch out for the tail. All right, I wanna show you guys something. <laughs> Come here, Ellie. Come here. Come on. My dog already knows how to come. Ellie. Come on. She's confused because there's so much noise. Ellie. Come on. Everybody's standing here staring at her. So she's like, 
like, I'm not doing it. Come on. Ellie, look. Come here. Ellie. Come on. Come on. Come on. Good girl. Now watch. Sit. Sit. Good girl. Yeah. She doesn't like me to rub her neck and praise her. She's super independent. But yeah, I taught her come today. We are headed into Tractor Supply. Sylvie's having to turn with my puppy. Ellie! Ellie! She's like, she the knows first her time name. you've seen her without a bow. Yeah. She's like, let me have any toy. Doesn't really squeak. It's just a hand work too. I wanted to see if they had any kind of thing that I could put Ellie in in the house. I'm probably gonna end up, what is that? That's cute actually. Is it for shipping or something? What is it for? It's for chickens. That's weird. Anyway, it doesn't look like they have anything that... I know, that's neat. That's cute. Look at how cute this blanket is. Is it two blankets in one? Oh, it's a, it's a dog bed. It would get dirty so fast, but it's adorable. Daisy would love this. A heated pet bed? She would love that. This dog would not. This dog does not like to be hot. I only put clothes on her when we go outside because she gets cold going outside. But even at night, she has to sleep on the cold part of the bed with no covers. I also want a sling carrier for her, but I can't find one. Okay, so we are in town shopping and there's this weird storm. I don't know if I can get a good shot of it in the camera, but it's these like monster sized flakes. It's so hard to explain. It's weird though. I was doing some editing at home and they went to pick up Ruby and I looked out the window and I swear to gosh, I swear to God, it looked like brown ash was coming down from the sky. Like it's not even white. It's this weird gray color. I've never seen snow like this before in my entire life, honestly. Like also I lent my crate, my small dog crate to my sister and I thought I had it at home, so I can't leave. So I can't leave the puppy at home, so she has to come with us. Uh, but I'm picking it up with my sisters right now. So so we're in the front seat because the puppy does not like the front seat. It makes her feel bad. She much prefers being in the back seat. Sophie and I are playing a game with Ellie. We're just starting. Make her sit. You start because she's already over Okay, here. Ellie! Come here, Ellie! Good girl! Sit! Okay, sit. Good girl. Good girl. Just take a little piece. Ellie, come on, Ellie. Come on. Good girl. Sit. No, sit. Sit. Good girl. Good girl. Oh. She also goes for squeakers. Sit. It's like, Ellie. Ellie. <laughs> She's a little confused still. You're playing the first game. Ellie. Ellie. Come on. Come on, Ellie. Come on. Come on, Easter Bunny. <laughs> come here. Ellie. Ellie, come over here. Ellie. <laughs> She's playing. She, I swear she has ADHD. Sit. It's on your, in your mouth. Ellie. Come on, Ellie. <laughs> Sit. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. She comes running for this. <laughs> hey, last one. Ellie, come on. Sit. Good girl. Can we swap Isn't spots? she so smart? Can we swap spots and see if that's the problem? One thing I didn't think about getting a tiny puppy is this sitting on the ground all the time is hard on your 53 year old bones. That's my drink. Don't drink my drink. Drink your drink. Okay, hey, Ellie, come on, Ellie. <laughs> come on. Oh. Okay, oh. <laughs> Ellie, come on. Come on. Oh, I need that. Come on. Come on. Come on, Ellie. Good girl. Sit. Sit. Good girl. Good girl. Yeah, she's still getting used to her collar. 
And she hasn't had a sweater on really in the house much. I usually just put it on just before we're ready to go out. So I'll take it off. Don't you know that?